Hi guys, so now in this video, I'm going to talk about pipes. In AngularJS 1, pipes were called filters, but after that, the pipes were introduced replacing filters. So what are pipes? Pipes basically takes any kind of data. That data can be integers, can be string, can be any date format. And before showing that data in the HTML or on our web application page, we process that data into our required format like if we want to print the name of our students in uppercase and we have got that data in lowercase so we process that data and we convert all the names of students and before showing that data we will convert that data into uppercase so there are built-in pipes in angular 4 and there are the ways that we can uh, use to create our own custom pipes but first I will show you how to use the built-in pipes so I have an empty uh, project with the default files I have the app.component.ts file I have the HTML file so within this TS file I'm going to define few variables and these variables will be having few values so first I will define a name as a variable and Umer its value and it contains one uppercase letter and all other uh, letters are in lowercase so I'll go back to my HTML let's save this file go to my HTML and now I will use h2 element and within this using interpolation I will print out the name if I go to my browser you can see that the name has been shown so now what if I want to convert this name into uppercase and lowercase uh, before showing it to the user. So for using the pipe we need to use the pipe sign and after that we can use uppercase. Let me copy this one, paste it and I will write lowercase as well. So let's save this file and I'll go back to browser you can see that all the characters of the first name are capital and all the characters of the second h2 element are smaller so before showing all these characters of the string we have applied this pipe and it has converted the value of this variable and shown it to the user and we can use uh, different kinds of pipes and we can have our currency pipe we have our built-in date pipes so let's use our date pipe so first I need to define a date in a variable let's say a day new date and within it let's say I want to 1992 3 and 15 so I have added a random date within this variable day so within my HTML I will use h2 again and within the interpolation I will write day and I need to use a date which is a built-in pipe so I will write a pipe sign and after that I will write a date so let's save this file and go back to our browser you can see that this was the actual date without using our pipe okay and this is the date with using the pipe because I just wanted to fetch out the date out of this time I didn't want it to include the time within the output of my date if we uh, just uh, want to convert this one into our this format then it takes a, a few uh, substring and concatenation without using a pipe so angular 4 provide us built-in pipes to convert this date into this format and we can have a parameter for this date whether we want to show the name of our month or we want to show the month number of uh, if we want to show uh, the day along with the date or not if we want to exclude the day which is the witness day or not so I'll go back to my web storm and I will copy this one and paste it again so along with the date I can have a parameter in order to use a parameter to be sent to this pipe I need to use a colon and within the single quotes I can send out the parameter for the date pipe which is the built in in angular 4 uh, we can have a short date uh, as a parameter 
and we can have a full date as a parameter and few other parameters for the date pipe. So I will use the uh, short date and I'm going to copy this one and paste it and I'm going to replace short date with a full date. So let's save this file and now you can see that this is the actual original date variable this is the date with the date pipe and this is the date with the date pipe along with the parameter short date and this is the date along with the parameter full date so this is how we can use our different parameters along with our pipe so now we can uh, add multiple pipes within our uh, interpolation so let's say I have this date let's say I want to uh, convert the all the characters within this string into uppercase so we need to use uppercase pipe same as we did like this so I'm going to copy this one and paste it right here and I want to use another pipe and I will write uppercase so what it's gonna do it's going to bring the day and it's going to convert that day into date format uh, with the parameter full date and after that it's going to convert that date into uppercase and once all the calculations are done it's going to show the result in our page so I'm going to save this file and navigate to my browser and you can see that it has converted all the letters of this date into uppercase and this is called pipe chaining uh, if we use multiple pipes along with a variable it is called a pipe chaining so that was a brief introduction of pipes and we can uh, work with pipes uh, in any way we want depends upon the structure of data we are receiving now I'm going to show you how you can create your own custom pipe and for an example I'll show you how to sort an array I'll be uh, printing out the array in my HTML and I'll be piping that array and convert that array into ascending or descending order based on the parameter that I will be sending as an argument of that pipe so for creating a pipe I will create a new file within app folder so I will right click on app new and typescript and I will name it app dot sort pipe let's say app.sort and I'll click OK so this file has been added and now I need to write a code to define my pipe so first of all I need to bring up my pipe and pipe transform libraries from our angular code so I will write import pipe pipe transform from angular slash core now I need to define a pipe declarator and the declarator means that I'm going to name my pipe that what should be the name of my pipe just like we have used uppercase lowercase date those were the names of our pipes so I will write at pipe this is how we declare our pipe declarator and inside it I'm going to write name within a single code I will write sort and this is the name of our pipe after that I need to export this pipe to be used in other components so I will write export class and I'm going to name this class sort pipe implements pipe transform and inside it I'm going to transform my pipe within the transform I'm going to receive the values from my HTML so this is my actual uh, app.component.ts and I'm going to send out and print an array within its HTML and along with this array I'm going to call that pipe and send out the different arguments so I need to send out this array and the argument identifies that whether we want to convert that array in ascending or descending order so I will go to app.sort 
ts and inside it i will first receive a value and the value can be of any type of array an array can be of any type whether it's string array uh, float array integer array characters array so that's why i have written any inside it and after that i'm going to receive my argument and that has to be in a string whether it's an ascending order or the descending order after that i will write column any brackets and inside it i'm going to return the resulted value uh, using this value and args so i'll save this file and before writing anything inside it i need to uh, let this sort pipe to be available in my app.component.ts so i will go to my app.module.ts and just like i imported other uh, things in my app.module uh, .ts file other components i need to import that pipe file as well so i will write import sort pipe and that it its name should be same as our exported class right here so i will copy this one and paste it and from which file i need to uh, select that uh, pipe class that is being exported from here and that is within the app dot sort like this and after that i need to use this import right now i just uh, imported this uh, pipe class but i need to declare it before using in other components uh, i made an error uh, the reason was that i imported the declarator pipe right here but i want to use this pipe within app component so for using this in app component i need to declare this sort pipe before app component because if i declare it after the app component uh, then it will throw an error that sort pipe uh, the pipe whatever the name it has the sort pipe is uh, can't be find okay so that's why i have declared and added before this app component so make sure you don't do this mistake so i'm going to save this file now uh, i have added it in app.module it is available in all the components uh, before this sort pipe so i'm going to close this file and now let's come back to our app.sort.ts and inside it i need to first detect that what is the argument whether it's an ascending order or the descending order so i'm going to check if args equals to ascending else if if args equals to descending and inside it i'm going to return out the value dot sort so it's going to sort the value which contains the array and it's going to return the sorted array in the ascending order but in the descending order i need to first sort this array and once it is sorted i need to reverse it so inside our html we need to send out array and after that as an argument i need to send out my parameter so within the interpolation i will send out array and i will use a pipe sign and now i need to call that pipe and the name of my pipe is sort so paste it column within the single quotes i'm going to send out let's say ascending so let's save this file and if i navigate to my browser you can see that it has printed 12378 and if i go to my app.component.ts you can see that it is not sorted and it has sorted my array now let's come back to our html file and i'm going to change it to descending i'm going to copy this string and paste it right here i'm going to save this file and go back to my browser you can see that it has sorted my array in descending order so this is how we can create our custom pipe depending upon our own requirement so thanks for watching this video make sure to subscribe my channel for more videos on angular 4 and like my video as well